All righty. It is Monday, October 8th. And I don't have a plan or a format for tonight. Big surprise. The whole month of September, we had a plan. And we stuck to the plan. And the plan went off fabulously. I kept calling that our journey. And that was a journey. We were on a Canvas Art Journal journey together. Here I am, back. It's all done. So I do want to mention to you guys that Deco Art, um, said to me uh, they loved this idea and they wanted to see more pages. So I just gave them the link. So if you guys are working on your pages, make sure you link to the link at here place. Andy's supposed to be typing now. So if you worked on those pages with us, uh, it's awesome because Deco Art wants to see more. And, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, the second thing is my studio is a mess because it was in a photo shoot. This week, I think I, everybody, I've talked about it 82 times because I'm super excited about it and I don't hide my excitement very well. And I've had to clean it all out and make it look like it was clean. The canvas, I would say, kind of sucks in the gesso, but not really. It's an unprimed artist canvas, so usually one coat will do you, and it keeps it from leaking onto the other pages. So I recommend you gesso the whole book first. And I do have a couple of outstanding orders that I'm going to fill. So if you still want to order them, uh, go ahead. They come in a two-pack with a tag and everything. And the October challenge, September and October, is all about being grateful. And I would fill this book with you guys. My page, my book is still one page from being done because I've been really busy this week. But it's going on all October. So that little book can be turned into this book. And it can be given as a gift. So I've been really busting tail. And um, Terry on my blog, is Andy here? Or is she sleeping? Did she take a break already? Susie, oh, uh, Yvonne's here. Um, where is Andy? Is she sleeping? Andy, Andy, wake up. Oh, there we go. Um, anyway, so uh, if, if Andy, oh, there's Andy. Andy's getting a coffee mug and she quit already. So if you don't mind giving the link to where all the pages are being shared, I wanted to give them one link and say, look, here, there, look, here, there, look there. So that was exciting. The photo shoot was exciting. It was really fun and tedious. I didn't like it. You know what I realized? I don't want the camera. Um, I don't want it. I don't want to have to ever be perfect. <laughs> So we got some really fun, it was amazing. And what was even better was the magazine, the, they hired the photographer who was local to me and I love her. So it was even better because um, it was great. It's done. The last shot was on Saturday and it's done. A week of my life of cleaning out this place. And the other, I wanna say this and I, I'm not trying to sell anything cause I don't care to. I did this one time. I don't know if anybody remembers. I'm cleaning up my studio again. And I've been very, very, thank you, mom. I have been, hi, mom. I've been very blessed to work on a lot of design teams, but more stuff that I could ever use. So if you guys are interested, I will be posting. I did these boxes one time for 20 bucks and I just stuffed them to where I could stuff no more in them and ship them. And that is what I'm going to do in order to get rid of some more stuff. Because I have a ton of stuff. So stay tuned for that because uh, last time they were, it was great. Yeah, and the canvas journals are still for sale. I'm not done. And I got a lot of emails after the last show about what our next creative journey was going to be together. That last one took a life of its own. It was um, completely, oh, Linda Ann wants a box. Okay, stay tuned for that. What I do is a medium a medium priority mailbox and I stuff the gizzards out of it and ship it out because it I, I just can't use everything okay so I, I I did it the last time I don't want to list stuff on eBay I know what it's worth and it's wonderful they're flat rate boxes I get them in and get them out as quickly as I can usually within a day and I tell everybody what the boxes weigh so um, oh Sarah you're so welcome we have a page on your blog for, do we have a page on your blog for our post? Upload the pages. Oh, thank you, Lori. 
Thank you. That's where I would like them all uploaded because I would like Decor to be able to see them. And um, anyway, uh, so stay tuned for those because I realized as I was cleaning my studio out and taking all the stuff out, and I'm talking about brand new paper. I have a whole thing, a, a whole stack of paper that I had from an old basic gray class, and I cannot possibly use all this in my lifetime. So why store it? I do not want to be a paper storage place. So uh, that, I just thought I'd mention because I have to clean this place out. I, I was cleaning it out. I mean, look at my paper. Look at the paper down there. That is all paper. I, I, will, be dry, I will be long dead before I can use all that paper. Hi, Lamar. Anyway, so the gratitude journal was a great journey. I look back at each one of those pages, and I am in awe of what we did. And we did it within a month. And for most of you, emailed me, said you were so happy to have a completed journal. Me too. I want to do it again, but I want to change how the um, I want to change up some of the sizes, and I want to incorporate some watercolor paper in there and really mix media our Mondays up, if you know what I mean. Mix them up even more than they're already mixed up, and really make you get out of your shell. Got it? Oh my God, rubber stamps was one of the first things I went to because hello, rubber stamp wall can fit no more. Look at, I had to literally, <laughs> there's more. Okay, so I really want to say to you guys that, um, what an awesome month September is. I plan on making October and November and December crazy good, too. That was just my list of stuff to do. Make it crazy good. So if you guys have any other ideas that you want to do and explore, I'm open to ideas. Uh, but I really would like you to finish your gratitude um, journals. Get on it. Okay? And Andy, if you don't mind giving the link for the canvas journals, I'm doing another so run because I have like three more orders and I sold them at the art show that I was in. I was in two art shows on um, Friday and Sunday. I'm talking about a busy weekend. Friday, it was completely slow. I had an incredible time because um, it was it was at a winery. So a lot of my friends showed up. And that's awesome. The second show was on Sunday, and that was far better. A lot of foot traffic. It was great. I, a lot of, like, sales. But I realized this. Um, I'm probably not going to get rich. <laughs> I'm okay with that. But it was so funny. I worked. I was the only one who didn't have a pop-up on Sunday. And everybody's like, are you happy? I'm like, yeah, I'm completely fine. in a pair of black jeggings and a pair of black boots. No, I'm fine. I love sitting out in the sun. I'm just basking. So I learned a valuable lesson. A pop-up is wonderful. And um, I'm learning tons of other lessons, too. You know, pricing your art is not easy. So I learned this way. Just price all the art. If you guys ever do art shows, price it all so that nobody even questions you on it. Because if you have one thing unpriced, they ask you about it. And then they want to negotiate. Would you take 10 for it? I'm like, no. <laughs> oh, I'm so funny. So um, that's all I need to say about the art shows. If you have any other questions you want to ask me about them, I now seem to be on the art walk circle. I don't, I tried to do the craft thing. It's not exactly for me. I need to, I want to do with art. Um, so these art walks have been tremendous. Uh, but it's so funny that I sat out all day in the sun and told everybody as I was fanning myself with a watercolor pad or one of my canvases, no, I'm fine. <sighs> okay. But I did have a really cute shirt on, and the black jeggings were way cute. Um, okay. Oh, so today there is no plan. The format of the class is as you know it, and that's usually how I perform and create. Thank you, Lori. Um, Look at I did. I, I said make the next few months crazy good. 
Um, yeah, at least I was cute while I was sitting out there dying. I did hit the record, so we're good. Yeah, and I had a great time. I mean, Friday was crazy fun because I had my friends there at a winery. I mean, I said to my friends, you know, I'm going to start making you buy my art. You know, they've all bought it, so what am I going to do? Okay, so, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, Terry. <laughs> um, oh, and yesterday at the art fair, the nicest guy bought a gift for his mom and bought a couple of my original cards. And, and what was funny, no, Lori. And what was funny was he said, I'll come back because I gave them, they were all original pieces of art. So I don't sell them for $250 a piece like everybody else was selling reproductions around me. And he really appreciated my art, which was so great. And he says, yeah, I'll come back. And I'm thinking, yeah, you are never going to come back to buy these. He did. He came back and he had a huge potted plant for his mom and said to us he was going to buy her a, a bottle of Chardonnay at first. And so I thought that was really nice. No, he, he bought he bought the cards. So nice. He really liked my art, either that or it was something else. But he did buy my art. <laughs> and I thought it was nice he was buying a gift for his mother. Okay. I probably fell for that, didn't I? <laughs> my mom. Like his mother. Okay. Um, I think that's it. Does anybody have any questions? I'd like to welcome all the new people, all you old people. Would you guys knock it off? My business card was right there, Lori. Um you can. Hi, Dad. Uh, for those of you who are new, the glue dad and the glue mom are my parents and my number one fans. So, and they're also going to be my number one employees when they come here and we hit the art fairs in December. <laughs> they don't know it yet. Um, so my parents should stand up and take a bow or my dad can utilize all of his typing skills. Uh, for those who don't know me, my name is Tracy Weinzaffel, and we do this every Monday. We officially now have a name. It's m Mixed, I don't remember what it is, Mixed Media Mondays. And um, if you are new, the format is usually uh, pretty, pretty relaxed. I sometimes have something in mind to work on. Most times I don't. Um... But I, uh, I'm willing to try anything, except for the dancing on the table part that you asked me to do earlier. Um, so welcome, everybody, and let's get painting, right? Uh, today I grabbed an 11. I'm going to open up my screen and hope my door, my window, because I want to watch the sunset as I'm painting. Okay. Helps with the light, too. Okay. And my moderators tonight are Andy, Scrap and Andy, and Yvonne, who is Susie 800. Don't, don't ask. We've already asked her. Please switch your name. Yes. And everybody else here is of utter importance. They just all don't have titles yet. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get started. Ready? Any questions? Any suggestions? Mojo, mojo. Okay. No suggestions. Hi, Michelle. See? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, I don't like how my... Sorry that this is casting a shadow, but life is such it is. Um, just to reiterate, too, I do... Blue, pink. Oh, my God. Pink, gray, and black. Wow, you guys are on it. I was going to use blue as my background. What am I painting? I don't know, Jean. What am I painting, Jean? Great question. Just for saying that, you get to do. Okay, um, here we go. We're just going to paint. We're just going to relax. I don't have a plan because we just finished that October situation, and I've been a little busy. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to grab some watercolor crayons. Because I said so. Because I feel a flower in me. <laughs> Not in me. Let's grab some colors. I should be looking up. I am literally flying by the seat of my pants right now. I know I seem like I have a plan. I know it, I, I feel confident and I look confident, 
neither of which I feel nor look. Those look pretty. Yuck. Yellow. I'm not really using the yellow. You're going to see what I'm going to do with the yellow. Um, this is a really big piece of paper. I've been working so, so small lately. Okay, don't let this stop me. Breathe in. Okay. Okay, I'm going to use a half a watercolor crayon. So these are watercolor crayons. Oh, <laughs> you guys see my upper arm flab flapping in the wind? That's not nice. <laughs> that is actually not happy. Okay, I just want to use watercolors right now. I could pull out watercolor paint, which I could do that. Okay, I hear you. Don't you love it when you don't have a plan and you're just hoping that Mr. Mojo will... Oh, literally, I do feel my arms flapping in the... I'm just going to add a little bit of blue or yellow in here. I just want to streak this. How about them tigers? Everybody, everybody, stand up and clap. You know what? I'm going to... Let's just get crazy here. Oh, I'm getting so crazy. I don't have paper in these. Okay. And I just wanted a little bit of yellow. I don't know what this is going to do, but... You know, I haven't done this in a long time. I actually haven't just painted to paint. I've painted with, like, paint for an art show, paint for October, and I've gotten lazy, you know? Worried about coffee mugs and what else am I worried about lately? Worried about everything. And I'm worried about my arms flapping. What is that godly movement that happens after I'm done moving? So I also, in the process of all of the photos that were being taken, I took new studio shots and new headshots. I had to have a I had to have a serious headshot. And there is something about me that doesn't do look at doesn't do serious well. Um, I hate serious. Like it, I am the anti-serious. My I don't know if you guys saw if you go to my website, the top picture of me jumping off of my desk was completely my idea of who I am. I that was taken. Um, how long ago was that taken? two or three years ago. So in those headshots, I also had me laying in cardstock and sing, like swimming in a sea of ribbon. So I needed new headshots and I hate serious photos. And so the person who took my photos was like, what do you want to do? I'm like, oh my God, do I really share what I want to do? Or do I, I had to take, I, the first photo she sent to me to look at was the headshot, and I had to tell her, you know me, a boring headshot with a boring background, not so much me. So we're going to just blend all this together. I don't really, I just want to blend it all together. Kind of going for a really sheer, cheeky look. I'll probably say that, and I won't get any of that, but... I don't want to be limited by my background tonight. I kind of have this little idea in my head, and I don't know if it's going to work, but I kind of think about it might work. And I'm not looking at the chat. So, Andy, if I'm missing something, you're going to have to cue me in, probably via text, because I'm really not paying attention. And my phone's probably even on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh... So, um, I also want to make mention tonight that I've gotten new products to test out. Okay. I take product testing very seriously. I don't get endorsed. I don't get paid to endorse things. Well, except for the companies you, I openly tell you guys, obviously, Vutainer is one of them. This is just water. Magic water potion that I use on all my art that turns it into pretty art. It's really not magic water potion. Um, 
And you guys know that I work with a local store that, of course, so I tell you if I'm paid, you know, and nobody pays me to, well, yes, yes, Retainer does pay me to endorse because I work for them. So I'm very honest in the fact that I have no interest in, I used to be on a lot of design teams. I don't do that anymore um, because I want to, I want to, um, I want to paint art for me. I would never say I would never do it again because I would, and I've been asked to do guest spots, but I really have gotten to a place in my art and uh, that I want to design for myself. Um, I've been doing this a very long time, a very long time, uh, 18 years. And as much as I, well, I am excited about the magazine that I am going to be in. So don't get me wrong on that. And I'm very grateful for every opportunity that's come my way. But I really want to be in a place where I used to work with design teams and I don't, I don't endorse nor, um, what's the word? Um, I, I have nothing adverse to say about them, but I worked with several design teams in the past where it didn't fit my style and I felt myself being forced to work in that style. Now, the good part was it challenged me to expand myself. Ooh. So I, and it was also an opportunity to get lots of wonderful products, but I'm not, I, now I have too many wonderful products and I really am getting old. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> ah. So hi, Tra hi, Miss Mrs. Fence. Oh my God, seriously. So anyway, um, I am not uh, downplaying the design team aspect of it all because I really enjoyed that portion. I really enjoyed doing that. Does that make sense at all? Can you, you can have too many. Oh my God. I have done too many. I was the queen of too many at one point. I had a calendar that was color coded and it was too much for me. And it also, um, it also got to the point where I felt like I was just creating for this machine. I became a creative machine, and I'm not a creative machine. I'm a, um, I'm a crazy, happy, emotional, sad, one day, ecstatic, the next day kind of girl. And on those days that I was sad and all the, yeah, I lost it. There you go, Tanya. I lost the fun of it. Um, and what happened was on those sad emotional days, I go, oh shoot, I have to make an altered box. And I'm like, I don't want to make an altered box. What I want to do is I want to make a pine box and I want to decorate it and I want to bury everybody in it. Okay. But that's not an option, obviously. <laughs> so let me just, I'm, I'm making the paint fall down. So if you guys are on design teams, I totally 100% support you. But some of you probably know what I'm talking about and say, wow, it's really, it is really tough. It's a dog eat dog industry. Anyway, so leading me into what I'm saying is from time to time, a company will contact me and say, would you like to work with a certain product and try it out? And would you blog about it? And would you do this? And would you do that? If I like the product, and I tell you about it, it's because I like it and because I use it. It's not because I want you to go right out to, heck, most of the time I don't even know where to tell you to buy it from. Uh, so I don't even have a place to do that. So what I want to tell you is when you see me use a product, I really am endorsing that product. And I'll tell you if I'm trying something new. The other good part about it is when companies approach me about that and I say to them, I have this really cool group on Monday nights that we meet and would you consider sponsoring? So I use that as an opportunity to get sponsored. Okay, so there you go. Because who doesn't love free stuff? So anyway, recently I was sent an entire box of fun stuff that I'm in the process of trying. And I might try some of it tonight. It looks interesting to me. So if you see me using it and I like it, I'll shout it out. But if I don't. <laughs> Hi, Kim. So all I did, girls, was create this very... 
I just wanted a soft background. I used three colors, green, blue, and green, blue, and yellow. And I ran all the colors together, and I'm drying it. That's it. Actually, a lot of you guys send me emails about design teams and stuff, and I'm always happy to answer them or give my opinion. Some people have asked. I've been on both ends. I've been a designer for an ungodly amount of years. I also was uh, a manufacturer at one point, worked with a manufacturer. So I had my own design team and had the honor of full circle moment selecting design teams and coordinating them. And it was a very joyous part of my life. I love to work with artists no matter in what context. So what I want to do is make a stem. I want to roll a stem. No jokes, people. So what I think I was going to do is I was going to grab some white paper. I might also use book text. I'm wondering which would be better. Um... Oh, did my alien come on again? <laughs> Kim, no comments. <laughs> this is funny. No, I thought I would, I might even need to use glue in this. But I, I was, you know what I was thinking of? Book text. Maybe book text. Don't worry, people. I have book text. I think I like the idea of book text. Because then I can make the leaves. Okay. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> okay, let's do it out of book text. Oh, look at this. Herb, no, hepatologist. That's probably not. Okay, we're going to use that. Oh, that's not a good word. Okay. Oh, you know what? I don't want to use one page that has... Oh, see, I did not want to use this page. I do, literally do not want to use this page. It has the word inspiration on, on it. I want to keep that page. Isn't that crazy? Okay, so we're gonna, not going to use that page. I'm going to put that aside. Of all the pages, this is what I... Okay. I don't know how many pages it's going to be. There we go. <laughs> all of you who know, I bought that, jer I bought that um, dictionary used for six bucks. So don't get all antsy with me that, that I am ruining a completely good book. I know that. And you know what? I think I'm going to roll it up like this and just start... <laughs> Oh my god, what kind of show is this? <laughs> Tuck the children in, people. I was thinking I need to spray it down. You know, this is where I'm going to try this stuff. I have no idea what it is. So hold on. Give a protective gloss without. Okay, good. Don't use on furniture. Got it. Okay, let's try. I'm going to use this stuff. I'm not going to tell you what it is until I use it, until I tell you if I like it, because then, but it's a spray on. And I don't know if it's adhesive -y or not. Put the kids to bed because mommy's rolling up. Oh, it's kind of cool. It is it is a gluey substance. Okay. Ooh, does that smell? Hmm. Okay. Ooh, this is interesting. I'm really liking this. Oh my god. What is she trying? I'm <laughs> okay. The reason I bought this dictionary, somebody said to me that they cannot believe I rip up a perfectly good dictionary. I'm thinking this is working. So if you can see the bottle and you know what it is, you can. I don't know. Oh, it smells. Ooh. I just want to really scrunch this together. Oh my god. <laughs> board books. Those are great to get at, at book sales, people. Board books. They make great journals. Okay. I don't know. I think I should have rolled this up more. <laughs> if your husbands are tuning in and going, what are you watching? And I don't know about drying time. I did not look. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you what I'm, oh, I'm, oh, twist. This is great. Really excited. Okay. Now see, normally I don't endorse a product until, but this is kind of nifty because it's, it is adhering. Oh my God. I don't know what's going to happen once this dries. So let me just keep spraying it. <laughs> if in doubt, spray it more. I am one of those people. <laughs> if in doubt, take another one. Take another Advil. No, no, I really don't. Can't. My stomach, it's... Okay. 
And I don't even care if this comes apart a little bit. It's a stem. It looks more like a log, but okay. Okay, the spray stuff is... Hold on. Do, 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 do. Hold on. I'm still, I'm still wrapping my... <laughs> this is going somewhere tonight, people. I hope so. This is a total blind taste test right now. Okay, what I'm using is, hold on, I need a wipe because I can't lift the bottle up without it. It's kind of a gluey substance. Deco Beacons Deco Posh Gloss Seal. Deco Posh Gloss Sealer. Waterproof, clister clear, acid free, non toxic. So supposedly I'm going to be fine. Okay? <laughs> Soaked in something, I do. This is, a, yes, don't light a match near this, people. Okay, I'm going to dry this. I don't know what's going to happen, but I just want it to somewhat be shaped in the shape of a stem. I don't think I would taste this. This is one of those moments I start to perspire, and I hope what I think I'm doing is what is going to be happening, is what I planned, you know, but... This is a learning moment, too. Okay. Maybe I should have had a glass of wine before I started this class. No. Okay. Kind of looks like a giant one. I don't think I need to go this large. And I'm going to paint it, so don't worry. It's not going to look like a giant rolled up, you know, on my cigarette on my... They were quite generous with sending me stuff, so I really am trying it all out, and I'm super excited about this stuff because I've had it sitting on my desk to try out. And I love the idea that I'm just literally shaping this into a, I feel like I'm making noodles right now. What's cool is I think if I wasn't, if, if I was sticking this to my page, I would be able to stick and say where I wanted this to stick. But let's get some paint and paint. Oh, you know what? I might just mist it up. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to mist this up a little bit because, because I'm going to. I could also ink pad it up. Okay. And I'm going to kind of leave it like this. Here we go. Oh, my hands. Oh, new, ma new, new manicure. All the keister. I'm just drawing it with a heat gun because this is live television and, of course, I've never tried this stunt before and I feel like I'm the guy crossing Niagara Falls with a safety harness on. Oh, it's pretty because it's got a glisten to it. Seriously, I don't know if this is a noodle or something else that's illegal in... Most states, not the state of California, for medicinal purposes. Okay, here we go. I think I want a softer green on it, though. I'm going to... Maybe not, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know if I'm liking... You know what? Cut it off. Cut it off. It's too long. It's too thick, I think. Okay. All right. No, we're not doing one. We're going to do a couple, but I'm just testing out to see how this stuff works and to see how like tight I can get them because I really wanted it to be tighter. It really does look like something that's illegal, and I don't want that on my page because I do have small children, and, well, you know how that questions go. Mommy, what is that? And I don't even think I need that much paper because I didn't plan on going this do, 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 Isn't it great when you don't have a plan? But you got to see where it takes you. See, I think I only need that much paper. Yep, I don't think I need to go using a whole sheet in dictionary paper. 
kind of like this one better. It's a little softer and not so mean. Okay. And I can flatten it out a little bit. Okay. And it can be stem-like. Okay, because I'm going to make leaves out of this too, I think. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint on it. I'm going to do it while it's wet because it's mixed media. Mixed media. Okay. Ooh, a little bit of a softer green. Got it? Got it. Okay. Now we're going to heat gun this one. Yeah, I like this one better. I like the softer green on it. Okay. Well, I guess it's going there. I can still tell it's book text, too. Okay, I like that one better. I didn't like the other one because I played with it too long. And this one I like better. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to use this half. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. This is going to be happy flowers. This is not, it's got a weird smell to it. It's not toxic -y smell, like, you know, but it's um, not fruity either. I don't know what it is. Kind of cool, though. I am really, I am very much enjoying it. You know, I've got to be open to trying new things. New products, new ideas. It's all part of playing. And I got a crap load of it. Okay, so I'm just taking the paint and rubbing it on my, I hope you can see this, I can move this over, hold on, bingo, I'm just rubbing the book text right in it, and then I will dry it. Look at Terry, no palette. No palette paper tonight, people. Okay, and I will probably shape it a little bit, and they don't have to all, I'll do three of them. Okay, my workspace is doing incredibly, I don't really know, I really should look and see what the purpose of it is first before I go doing it with no directions, but I don't know, that just seems like such a odd thing to do check the directions first <laughs> yeah i'm gonna curve it and i really do want it to look like book text because i want to make the leaves out of book text so don't be afraid don't be afraid i got a plan no i don't i'm afraid for me that's how afraid i am it did say I didn't have to spray this in a... And, hello, Made in the USA. I'm really into this whole Made in the USA thing, except for don't get me started on $95 in gas in my car today. I do not drive a Hummer, just so we're clear. California living is not happy right now. Okay. $95 to fill up my car. Ridiculous. Okay, this is deco art paint that I am just running the noodles in. Okay, 
No, seriously. I can't make a living as a starving artist because I have to fill my car up. Oh my gal, it is so depressing. I mean, I was, you know, watching the news and oh, $95. And I, when I looked at it, I thought, that can't be true. $95. Never paid over like, I don't know, maybe 70 Seriously. I don't get what, why we're getting gouged, but I don't, you know, can again, I should, just going to give this a final, this was too perfect. Okay. Okay. They look like flowers. I mean, they look like stems. They're not exactly dry, but, you know, do we really care? No. Okay. So I'm going to play with other things because if they did, um, they did send me other stuff, so might as well play with it. I don't know how I'm supposed to open this, but... Okay, so I'm going to glue these down, and I'm not going to particularly be too upset about how I glue them down. I'm just going to... Oh, you know what I wanted to do? Ah, yeah, that'll take too long. Okay, this is a clear glue. Give this a gander. Oops. Okay, I'm just going to kind of have to hold this down. <laughs> and don't worry, I'm going to be putting leaves down too. <laughs> I want them all to be the same size. I really wish one of them was way up there. Okay, one is going to be right about there. <laughs> down, up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up. Cool, that is working. Beautifully. Uh -oh. Dad's is closer at the bottom. Closer to what, Daddy O? Closer to what? I gotta look. Yes, it is. I'm giving it a try. So far, so good. Closer together. I'm going to be putting some honking leaves on there. What's a cattail? Dad, I don't know what a cattail is. Like closer together here? Further apart at top. Oh, you caramba. I don't know how I further it. I'm kind of gluing this down, people. Maybe I should just come over here with the other one and just... That, those two are just standing off on their own. Like in a swamp, I know. Like in a bush. Like the stems near the bottom. You guys, I totally, for the first time in my life, don't understand you, nor am I going to pretend to. Because they're kind of glued down now. I hate to tell you this. This is like, it does say quick drying. Curved out at top. Oh, I see what you're saying. Should I have gone? Oh, my God. I kind of am stuck, people. I've glued it down. This third one can go anywhere now, but cattail stems with cotton on top. Daddy, I don't know what a cat and top is, and at this point, we're kind of in, we haven't gotten to the flower. I don't know what a cattail is. <laughs> I'll look it up when I'm done, I promise. Okay, so, you know what I think this is going to come in on the page. We have them here. 
I am from Michigan. I don't know what it is. You guys, really, I got to have to go with a flower that I already have because, um, oh, shoot, do I have any big flowers? That's the other thing. Oh, here, what are these things? These were, these were sent to me for something. Oops, what are these? I don't really feel like drawing the flowers, but I could. Curiouser and curiouser. Are these big enough? Are these big enough? Well, you guys are going to all tell me no, but the only other big flower I probably have are daisies. Well, I have these too. Okay, hold on. Let's just, let's just establish the flowers so that everybody can get off of my junk. See, that's a huge flower. There we happy. See, look, huge flowers. Huge flowers. Not that one. How about this one? Look. And then I was going to make leaf. And then I will have to look up what you guys are saying is another flower. I don't know. Yeah, it covers the yellow. Okay. You can. Okay, so there we go. And then I was going to outline it. Okay. So this actually could so ditch these. They're not big enough. Ditch those. Okay. We're going to go big. And then, since my stems are kind of stuck here, because they are, because I can't really go anywhere else with them, I glued them down without even talking to you people, which I know you're upset about. But, you know, this is only an hour show, and at some point you just have to make the call and say you are the boss of your own art. I know, you're not the boss of me. Tandy's like, yes, I am the boss of you. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this pen. Watch this. I'm really jumping ahead a little bit. Hi, Esther. Okay, so, oh, actually, I think I'm going to do it in white. It would be easier if I do it in white. Okay, hold on. Let me shake up this pen. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Boop, 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 shake it up. Okay. We want to make sure this is a paint pen by Montana Acrylic Paints. Yes, sir, Bobby. And I'm going to go all the way around this. And then I'm going to come back around with black. I'm going to outline it in black. It's going to be cool. You'll get the gist as I start working on it. Okay, but I wanted to show you. I do have somewhat of a thought process going on in my head. I'm going to put this down before I... Ba, 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 ba. And I just want a constant flow of acrylic ink. It's a, This is an acrylic, not well, water-based. I should have done it before I put the flowers down, but that's okay. Okay. I really like these pens. And it's going to be outlined in black. And it's going to have a cute little checkery board pattern going around it. So this mixed media paste is going to have texture. And it's going to be dimensional. And it's going to be repainted. These are a few of my favorite things. Okay. Come back and do that in a minute. Whoops. No, I gotta hide this because this flower doesn't have a center. Yeah. Give this a little hairy cut. Uh oh, I think my page is sticking to the. Yeah, it is. That's okay. There we go. Another haircut. So do you have any questions so far?
kind of wondering if that decoupage spray -y stuff that I just used, if I could paint cut. If I, well, here, let's try. Tear out a page. I'm going to make some big leaves. Ready? Big leaf time. Now I got to do some homework on finding new flowers. There's a leaf. I wonder if I can just spray that down with that spray stuff that I, I got. I should probably read the directions. It's always a good idea to, to try out a new product right while you're standing there. It's always a good idea, right? Right. I know you guys are getting nervous that this is not going somewhere, but in my brain, we're completely heading where I want to be. It's called Chaos Land. I welcome you to my world. Okay. Let's, let me read the directions. Let me read. Let me entertain you. Okay. This is a little bit too big. Like, I want it a little bit not so big. I do want them to look cartoony. I mean, you know me. I'm not. There we go. That's going to go down there, and that's going to go right there. Now, let me read the directions, because it says... Directions. Don't use furniture as a work area. <laughs> okay. Always cover your work area with plastic. Okay. Somewhat done. Test for compatibility. Did not do that. If compatible, spray sealer over decoupage item to protect the surface. So it's really not a de decoupage. I do have decoupage though. I'm supposed to spray it over. Well, that's fine and dandy. Okay. It's worked. I, it actually worked for the purpose I needed it to, and it was very, I know they have decoupage too. Oh, look at this handy dandy little thing. Oh, my daughter is home. Um, hmm. Well, I'm going to use this because I know it works, and I've used it before. Here we go. Where is my paintbrush? Goody, goody, goody. I ran that together and I'm going to use my, okay, I'm using, um, this is decoupage, just a matte decoupage by, okay, that's my neighbor Denise honking to me. I am going to be using my charcoal pencils, so for Sarah and Kim who got their charcoal pencils, I believe, is there some in there, Paula might have gotten... Um, charcoal pencils because last week I was celebrating my charcoal pencils which you guys are also thrilled about. I know Angie doesn't like the charcoal pencil but I do. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's down. I'm giving this a little blast. I like this stuff. I don't really, I know I'm not using it right but it really is cool. Okay. So I like to use everything. So can I answer any questions while I'm here for me? Oh, I know Angie and Angie has an aversion to the charcoal pencil. Well, you know what? This is the thing about art. You know, I would probably say that I would, I'm not big on pencils. I don't like to, um, I don't even like to, to sketch anything out really before I do it so you know everybody's got their favorite mediums that's respectful I'm not going to expect you guys to like everything that I like nor will I like everything that you like to play with and so that is just the way it goes
I really am liking. Um, our flowers are very pretty. Our stems are right pretty. I just got to make sure everything's dry on them. <laughs> I guess it's what I like about art so much is that there are just an infinite amount of mediums to play with and that's pretty darn cool if you ask me and I'm going to take a paintbrush and water this down a little bit that's just deco art paint water it spray into it a little bit and I'm going to take a paintbrush like I had what am I taking into her paint I love this paintbrush Okay, I'm just going to color up my leaves a little bit. Doesn't need to be perfect. I don't want to take away from the, and I'm not going exactly in the lines, I know that. I'm just making this fun and free. Oh, I didn't want to go that far out of the lines, Tracy Ann, Miss. Hello, darling. Can you um, let me know what you need and then carry on? Execute? Hmm. We did the worst practice ever. Oh. We had to do Indian Springs. Okay, can we talk about that as when I'm done? Because there's like 42,000 people on the internet watching this, and I don't want to mess up. I might not exactly have 42,000 on. I might have like, like ooh, five. probably five is closer. <laughs> Thanks for the pep talk. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. What can, can I, I make mac and cheese? You may mac, make mac and cheese. Just be careful you don't burn the house down while I'm doing this because that would be really embarrassing. Okay, where's my purple pencil? I'm going to glue these down because they're staying. No matter what you say. <laughs> I haven't looked at my mac and cheese. I know you guys. No comments from the peanut butter gallery. I cannot be mother and artist all at one time. So then I'm going to take my 3B pencil sharpener. You guys want to know something? Oh my God, look at all the people here. Even the price tag on my pencil sharpener showed up in the pictures and had it to be, and had to be redone. Talking about wanting to pull my pull my hair out. Okay, so here's where the charcoal pencil is really fun, and, and I'm sure Angie is jumping out of her seat right now going, oh my god, I love the charcoal pencil. She's probably not, but hello. It just is going to add us a little bit of color. It's going to make our leaves look like we intended to make them in a crazy mad of a mess, even though we really didn't, but that's okay. I'm really, I really am enjoying this. I mean, I know I'm trying, I know right at once I'm trying new things and I'm, and I am like this kind of person who likes to order the same thing at the same restaurant that she goes to. So trying new things is not easy for me, but it's very important to try new things and to do new things. So you just give this a little mishmash, wipe your hands off a little bit in between. Bring these flowers to life. My hands are so dirty right now. Hold on, I don't even have a dry hand right now. Kind of really liking the sheen. And where is my paint? Did I use all of my paint? I think I did. You know what I'm going to do? This is what I'm going to do. Just really liking this. Um, where's my paintbrush? I'm going to give my leaves a little bit of a, of a crease to them. Okay. This is all coming about in my little, little brain right now. Okay. Okay, 
track to like singing and if I was alone I would be singing so here comes the sun do 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 okay done happy just want to give our leaves a little bit of life and I'm going to glue those down I'm going to glue those babies down I believe right where they're at I'm not going to put a lot of thought into this because I want to get it kind of get to my border these are some big honking leaves. I don't know, or flowers. I don't know where I had these babies tucked into. Okay. Is that where that's going? It's going. Uh oh. Kind of don't want this leaf here. <laughs> kind of need to give this leaf a haircut. Goodbye. I need I need that to have something to glue down to and I'm just gonna pull that one up there okay there we go good that's fine by me and oops where is our other stem going in front or behind What are you going to defrost? No, not that many hot dogs. Go look and see if there's a package. That's a hot dogs for a party of 20. Yeah, we cannot defrost those unless we have at least five people over. Thanks, though. Okay. It's just going to lean in a little bit more. Okay. Yeah? How are we doing? Oh. Oh, my God. I love that she just pulled out a hot dog pack made of like a Costco package for probably 43 people. Okay. It's a little bit freestyle-y. Now, the idea was originally, and I don't know if this is going to work, but I think it might work if I did it in paint. But let me try this paint pen again. What I want to do, and I'll show you on a piece of, maybe I should have a piece of tester paper here, but that's okay. Because if I don't like this idea or you don't like this idea, okay, so watch. Let me find a piece of blue paper or paper that's not. I just talked about paper that I have an abundance of it and I can't find one sheet of it. Oh, here, I know what I do. This is the idea I had. Now, let's just pretend. Everybody pretend. Okay, so this is the piece of paper I have. And that happened to work fabulously. Well, this is an ineffective fan. Wish you saw my workspace right now. It's kind of crazy covered. Okay, so then I get a black marker. Let's make sure this is dry. And I was going to line the outside of it boop, 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 like this. And then I was going to go along and this was going to be my border. This was what started my inspiration for the flowers. But now I'm kind of wondering if I even bother going to all this work all the way around. See, I have something to tell you. I always buy, uh, oh, yeah, that's what I should have done. That's what I should have done, but we had a big party to blow out the summer. Okay, so do you see this idea? This is what I was going to do around the entire border of it, because it, since it's soft colors. Well, they're all frozen now, so I don't know that I could defrost them and do it again. And to tell you the truth, my kids are not going to eat nearly that many hot dogs, so I really planned on just taking them and donating them to the school, because we don't eat hot dogs that often. So uh, what are you guys thinking about this border, which I will start it, but I'm not going to do an entire border on TV because you guys are going to be mindlessly bored any more, any more so than you might be already at this point. Um, seriously, I think I'm going to spray this entire thing. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a big... Uh, I am not a big hot dog person. I'm going to give us a little bit of color around the, oops, I didn't mean to do it like that. It's a new ink pad. 
No, I don't think I called you guys my. No, 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 no. I said I'm not going to do that mindless border around, like the entire distance around, because I think you guys would go slightly bananas watching me do the entire border. I could even leave that border and do add to it. I'm open to suggestions. I just, uh, no, I'm mindless. It would be completely relaxing for me, but it would be like watching paint dry, which is pretty much what we do here every Monday anyway. But I want you guys to see the border. I just thought that border would look kind of nifty around this entire thing because it's kind of bold. So I'm going to look up and say border, no border. Okay. I like it the way the black and white border might be too distracting from the flowers. Okay, good, 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 good. I like what you have now. No border, no border. This leaves it soft. Leave it is, leave it is. Okay, so if you guys are telling me to leave it as is, then what I'm going to do is just go around a couple more times and just, I'm just going to, lighten up the craziness a little bit because it's so straight and I don't like straight and I love when I ask a question and you guys give me the answer I want to hear because that was also going to be a crap load of work no I don't want a crap load of work on a Monday night I'd be out here all night painting borders by myself okay there's our border <laughs> done painted okay oh my gal seriously what would I do without you guys I'd have to be standing here painting no wonder I can't paint on Monday night so you're not here I really do like that yes can we help you did you buy the ballpark hot dogs I don't honey I don't if they're not there I don't know where they're at okay, okay. so you're gonna have to go without and I'm sorry okay I know well all right so now I need a title and it's not Darling, can you please go to the other room? No. Okay. Oh my God. I love when you guys are bossy. Seriously, this thing is full. I, I don't know if I can lift it up yet and everything's going to go sailing off of it, but I never would have used a peach flower, but I really like it. It's just kind of soft and friendly. Put a word. I got a word for you, Sarah. No. Um. Yeah, I was going to do. Stop and smell the roses. Stop and smell the flowers. I was go yeah, those are huge flowers. I was gonna just put one word on this. I I really, and I don't know what that word should be, but I'm open to ideas. Something is sent in the center of the lavender. You know what? I don't have anything, but you know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do this. I don't know why there's nothing in the middle of it, but I'm going to do this because I feel the same way that you are feeling. Okay, I'm going to, oh, oh, that was almost a bead, bunch of beads on said floor. I'm going to put the center of it, I'm going to put glue in it, and I'm going to put all of these gems in there. Oh. What do you think of that idea? Because then it'll be different than what's there. Yeah, okay. I like the word peace. I like the word peace in general. Um, so I will do that. Smile, nice. Wait a minute, I'm looking. Do I write it or do I stamp it or do I... <gasps> Wish I had a big stamp. I wish I had a giant stamp. Oh, I have letter stamps. I have big letter stamps. That piece would be very simple. <gasps> this would be very pretty. These are random. I don't know if they're big enough, though. I love this set, but I don't know if they're big enough. P, E, A. I think it's too small. Not too big. Write it, old gal. I do have a script. I do have a script set of foam stamps, believe it or not. But they're really hard to stamp straight and they kind of make my OCD go berserky. See? But I don't think I could do that so nicely. Grow, I like that too. I want a short word because I um are you trying to get outside? Go on. The dog was 
scratching at the door. Um, oh, Tracy, I bought them along. I like grow too. I like grow too because I feel like that's the process I'm in right now. Um, the foam stamps were uh, from 100 years ago, scrapbooking, and I absolutely love them. I have, okay, do you want to see how many I have? This is pretty sad. I'm going to show you how many I have. Okay, these are all foam stamps, and those are foam stamps, too. And I probably use not a ton of them. I, I probably, uh, this is kind of a fun set. Oh, yeah. So, those are foam stamps. Uh, I don't, think, I don't think I want to come back and see what the heck you guys are saying. Um, <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, good, oh, good, good night, Yvonne. Yvonne. Um, I know. That's a lot of foam stamps. So I don't have any room to speak about why. I, I just love them. I loved them when they came out, and I still love them, and I still use them. So... Um, gee, I'm almost thinking this might be kind of fun. Look at this. They're the negatives. Let's see what we have. And then it would look like it's kind of written, and I can actually do it in white and black outline it or something. Oh, actually, no, you wouldn't be doing. Oh, did um, Andy check out for a little bit? Okay, there we go. I think these might be kind of fun. Let's do these, and they're all different. So there's Grow. I've never used, the, used these. You know what? I always encourage you to use stuff you haven't you know, used. <laughs> and I seem to be the epitome of stuff that I have that I've never used. So let's do this. Let's really encourage you to use what you don't what you already have. I'm looking for a G. I don't know what a G looks like. Let me look at the front. It looks like that. It's little. Eight, nine. Let's do that. G, what is it? G R O W. I do not see the G. Now, as I do every week, I will be on you to. Show me your pages. I cannot find the G. You guys are probably going to say it's right by my hands. Oh, those are kind of fun. It's the negative, so you got to tell me what color to paint them. G, is it going to be a little G? That's not. <laughs> I'm going to look and see. if Is that a G? I think that might be the G right there. Because if, if I do it like that... Yeah, that's the G. No, that looks like a 9. I think the G and the 9 look exactly alike. That's a G. Oh, wait a minute. 5, 6, 7. Well, I'm going to use this as a G. Either way, it's going to look like one. Can't find another one. Okay. I think this is a dislike. Yeah, I am. I know. Sorry, guys. Oh, that's a G. And it looks just like this. They look no different. I thought that was an A at first, but that wouldn't be an A because it'd be backwards. And it's a little G. Okay, that's the problem. Okay. Yeah, the R is going to have to. They all are backwards because they all have to be stamped like this. Should I just stamp them in black? It'll just be the outline, or is that going to be too much? Should I do it in white and then take a little faint black pen and outline it? I think that's what I should do. White. Let's try it with gesso. I know. Dad, stop yelling freehand. It looks like you're yelling free bird. Okay. Let's do that. We're going to do grow and gesso and see what happens. And if we can't see it, I can always outline it with white. 
I'm running out of gesso. Okay, I really hope this is a G. Maybe I should stamp it first to see. <laughs> Give me a G. Ooh, these are hard because these are the out these are the negatives of it. I feel like writing little messages in the words. That's a G. The lid is kind of all dried up. Otherwise I would, yes, excellent idea. I think I'm going to end up needing a faint pen around this because this is literally so difficult to paint. I think the hand too. <laughs> Some water. You guys are saying do it. You guys are saying take a vote. Free hand or put it over there. I say stamp it too. I, I, I'm, I'm curious to see what this thing stamps like. To the right, to the left, stand out, sit down, fight, fight, fight. What? I say we're going to just try this. We're going to see what happens. If we decide I can just paint the insides white, that's what I can do. Yeah, okay, so we're going to do it this way. We're going to see what happens. Oh, dear God. Well, it's too late now, people, so if you're changing your mind, I could always wipe it off. I really just want it to be faint. I don't want to be a huge word dominating my page. Because I like this page. It's very peaceful. I'm just leaving them down. Uh-oh, I still think that G is going to be in the way, guys. Oh, hold on. I should have put these closer together. Cool. Look at Well, you know what? We're committed, people. We're committed now. <laughs> I had to make a commitment, and I'm not great at them, trust me. I don't even want to commit to what the clothes I'm wearing in the morning. Okay. I think I've already painted this one twice, so we're going to go. All right, there we go. We're committed. Got to put those in water. Okay. I don't know if I could see that enough to like it. I really like this. I, I think it's, it's not my norm, and I'm okay with not my norm, and it's very texture-y. That's not a word. But I am okay with it. And I'm going to take this ink pad because I need a little bit more definition. I can come back with the white pen in a minute. I love these ink pads. I really do. I know. And I, you know what? They don't come in the Marvy select or the Tim Holtz color selections. I know that. I understand it. I'm at peace with it. But what they do come in is just amazing colors. I could thinly out. Oops. I could thinly outline those. Um, I don't know if you even think I should thinly outline them. I'm getting a response of clapping. I'm getting a standing ovation before I even, oh, you're so welcome, Kim. My dad just said flame, flame. Dad, are you announcing something? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm just going to stick 
some glue and try to keep it within this flower. Okay. I am adding gems to this. Going to dump. Oh, maybe I should. Maybe I'll dump it. Whoa. <laughs> maybe dumping it was not such a grand plan. <gasps> well, half of those gems went on the floor. There we go. I'm going to gather the gems. There is now something in the middle of that flower, and it is gorgeous. Now I wish the purple flower was on top. There we go. That will dry. Okay, am I done? I think I'm done. It's just very, just got to let it dry. Oh, I love the Marvie ink pads. I know, I know, and everybody tells me they don't come in. They're all refillable. So I have all the refills too. And they are spectacular. And I just love the colors. I wish they had a black, though, in the Heritage line. They don't. And I've asked them about it several times. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. I refill mine all the time. I actually have two sets. One I'm a little more delicate with. So I don't need to outline the grow at all with black. I, I like it too, you guys. If you could feel it, I'm going to photograph it. And what I will do when I photograph it is I will try to give you a sense of all of what is going on because there really is literally a ton going on on this page. And I know that. Um, the I can try and find a link. If Andy, if you don't mind sending me a link of where. Oh, I know where you can get them. You could actually order them from my local store. She'll get them in. She got them in for somebody else, and I'm going to be using them. In fact, I need to tell her to get those in anyway because I am going to be using them in my class. <laughs> okay. I'm teaching a class locally. If any of you guys are local peeps and care to take it, it is a painting class with stamps, so I'm so excited. Okay. I kind of like my stuff outlined, but I can't. Oh, excuse me. Stamping details in Poway. I like it outlined too, but I can't do it anyway for right now. So what I'm going to do is just wait it out a little bit and see if, um, and, uh, see if it, like I can do a faint line around it. it there, I use so much texture. I use so, so much texture. Oh, man. Signed up. I'm so excited. I think it's already it's close to selling out. So they've asked. I, I'm kind of really happy about that. Really happy about that. Okay. I mean, like beyond thrilled. So I'm glad you did. Okay, so hold on. Oh, I'm coming back. Can you guys see me? Oh, okay. Don't don't maybe I'll click. Okay. Um I think, were there any other questions? I don't want to hold this up and all my beads go flying, but I don't think. This is a very dimensional page. And I know it's crazy. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's 7.23. We're right on time. I know. I'm so excited. Anyway, I hope everybody had a good time. I know we got a little... Um, if you guys send me an email, if you guys are interested in the stamp pads, I could find out how much they are and get them in every color. Uh, it, there's only six colors, I think. So if you really are interested, let me know because I'm sure they would get them. I think there's six. I think there's six. I just happen to have 12 because I have two of every color. <laughs> I know. Who needs two of every color? But I do. But the purple is gorgeous. I love it. And I like how... Um, they, I use them like paint almost. Uh, okay, great. Oh, Christy, did you enjoy it? I know you were new. And is Christy part of the Facebook group? Did you guys give the link to that? What am I missing? Any of the other good stuff? You guys, I know it was so literal. Oh, got to go look up other kinds of flowers. Oh, 
please, um, Christy, if you want, you can get an invite to that lovely group. It's really where we kind of keep informed and everybody, um, everybody stays in contact. Hi, Esther. Hi, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. If you're not part of the Facebook group, group please um, just get on there, and I, I, I just approve you. I have to approve you. Uh, it is a closed group. Um, I've had some people ask me to be on there, and unless we recognize you, it's a very supportive and uplifting group, and I just don't care to have anybody who just, you know, I don't know their agenda kind of thing. That makes sense, because I want you guys to be able to be free to discuss what you guys want to discuss, and... You know, not scare anybody, I guess. Um, I don't know if this is the lid. No, it's not. <sighs> what did Cindy say? Yes, join the group. Ooh, that's awesome, Janet. Janet's in Michigan, so she's getting northern lights. Okay, so I played with some new things. And I have things to share. I don't have them right now, but they asked, you know. And um, I'm going to make October, November, and January crazy good because I wrote myself a note. Take my camera out of there. This camera, you mean? Oh, take your camera out there to see the note. And I am loving the idea that we talked about here. So I'm going to look into those and see what those babies would, uh, I'm going to make something good of it. Love, love, love. Oh, thank you. Is it Marta? Marta Harris? Myrna? Myrna? Marta? If you don't belong. Oh, it's Charlie. We know her. Thank you so much. I know we didn't know where that was going, but it did go somewhere. I promised you. I was a little nervous to begin with myself, so don't worry. I don't know why. My stems, though, I kind of really love them. I wish this was not blocked in my little journal now, but it's really, really awesome. Okay, so I'm going to be done for the night because I'm not supposed to eat past 7.30 on this stinking healthy, balanced diet thing that I'm doing. And it's 727, so I have to make myself something to eat so that, uh, question, staring at your sewing machine. Wait. What's that? Oh, I texted her. Hold on. Let me look. Oh, Andy texted me. We... You see my machine. What machine? Hold on. I'm looking. I'm looking. My sewing machine? <gasps> camera. Oh, you see this camera? That's my other camera. I have two cameras. You can see me in, I totally don't get it. We see your machine. <laughs> Is it bad? Oh my God, I'm so not getting it. Okay. Well, I gotta go. Oh my God, I see you guys are all laughing at me. Change cameras. Oh. This is, what the flip was that? What was that on? Can you see me now? Oh my God, did, did I switch cameras? Ah. Oh my God. I'm like, what the she? Where was she? Oh my God. Okay, sorry. I didn't know I had switched. Look at now, Angie's. Switch your cam here. <laughs> I'm surprised you didn't say, you dummy. Do you see me now? Oh my God, this is, look at this. Look at how many text messages. We see your sewing. I didn't know what they said. You see your machine. Uh, oh my God. Oh, you guys. This is how we ended the show. Now I look like an idiot. Okay. Ding a little ding ding. Okay. So I have stuff to work on. The next project. 
Um, our, our mugs. You guys like making me stupid. <laughs> oh my God, I have the sealer all over my hands. And I just figured out that this sealer, that the sealer I used is for their decoupage stuff, but I loved what it did. So I discovered something new. I, I, I don't think we should advertise that. But I should have tried their sealer, Fast Finish Decoupage. Anyway, I liked their glue. It worked. It all worked tonight. And I'm going to go look up, hold on, my dad says look up Cactail. Andy's writing notes for me right now because she knows I'm totally going to screw all this up. <laughs> okay. This is why I need a producer and somebody going, I need somebody sitting here going, they're looking at the top of your sewing machine. This is all live. You know, you get what you paid for here at this place. What did you guys pay? I do need to go eat. I think that's part of my problem. Okay. Uh, I do. What? Yeah. How much are you paying for this wrap? Okay. So I love what we did tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you for bringing my inspiration back to me because I kind of have felt like it's been missing. And I kind of was afraid to go big tonight. Go big or stay home. All right. I'm going to go eat because I can't mess up my, I've lost five pounds. Not my arms, obviously. Uh-oh, what did I miss again? Here we go. Terry, I, 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 it's too fast for me. Thank you so much, Fairy Floss. Thank you, guys. Good night. I will see you next Monday. And stay tuned for some exciting stuff because I'm, I'm kind of thrilled. Okay, I'm out of here.